Shabbat Shalom and Chag Sameach, everybody. We have some in-person participation today. It's great to have you all, and especially since you're helping us calibrate our cameras to, to see you know, how much of your heads we're going to be able to see or not as we prepare for the future that is That's coming. Right. It's coming, hopefully, in a couple of months or so. We are coming to you from our beautiful sanctuary. I'm Rabbi Javier Carapan, and I'm joined by Leslie Zucker and Michael O'Shiver, who is joining us this morning. You may remember Michael as our uh, harp player extraordinaire. Yes. He is today on the piano. And we also thank uh, all our technical team uh, who are helping us with the streaming. If you're joining us on Facebook Live, and uh, would like to look at the comments. You can see there the prayer pages and all other information. If you're watching us on the virtual sanctuary, the prayer pages, the PDF is right above the player and all other information is in the e-news that you received yesterday morning. Again, thank you to our docents who are managing our streaming. If you're watching us on Facebook Live and like to say, Hello, we invite you to type Shabbat Shalom and or Chag Sameach and tell us where are you watching us from, geographically speaking. Make sure you write down this number, 913-303-1134, because if you have any issues with the technology, you can text that number and one of our digital docents will get back to you as soon as possible. We welcome this Shabbat morning and this seventh and last day of Pesach on page 412. I think I mentioned that last night. <clears throat> really, once every 19 years or so, we get to use a festival morning service and all the additions for Shabbat. It doesn't happen cool. very, really, very often. So. so if you miss it this time, I don't know what we're going to be doing in 19 years, in 19 you know, technology-wise. <laughs> Who knows? We may be all teletransported or I don't know. Have holograms of That's each right. of us <laughs> in services. <laughs> yes. <laughs> we begin together on page 412, where it says, Seventh day of Pesach. Then Miriam, the prophetess, 
Aaron's sister took a timbrel in her hand, and all the women came out after her in dance with timbrels. And Miriam chanted for them, Ashir al-Adonai, sing to God, for God has triumphed gloriously. Horse and driver got hurled into the sea. So we come together on this Shabbat and Yom Tov morning. We thank God for having brought us back to life and to this beautiful morning. We're starting to see some colors. Uh, all of you who are here and those watching from home can see how our background keeps changing as the season progresses, and we're thankful for that. We join in Mode Ani on page 412. <laughs> Continue together at the top of page 421. My God, I thank you for my life, body, and soul, for my name, my gender, my way of thinking and speaking. Help me realize that I am something new, someone who never existed before, someone original and unique in the world. For if there had been someone like me, there would have been no need for me to exist. Baruch ata Adonai, rofe chol basar umafli laasot. Page 424, we join together in offering blessings for our daily miracles. Nisim she bechol yom. And we haven't thought this through with people here. They may have to choose which one they sing with because we're doing this now one and one, but yes. Baruch Adonai Eloheinu Melech HaOlam Asher Natan Lesech Vivina Lehavchin Ben Yom Uvein Laila Amen Baruch Adonai Eloheinu Melech HaOlam Bokeach Ivrihim Amen Baruch Adonai Eloheinu Melech HaOlam Matir HaSurim Amen Baruch Adonai Eloheinu Melech HaOlam Zokev Kefufim Amen Baruch Amen. Baruch Atah Adonai Eloheinu Melech Haolam Amechin Mitzadei Gaver. Amen. Baruch Atah Adonai Eloheinu Melech Haolam 
Malbish Ahomi. Amen. Baruch Atah Adonai Eloheinu Melech Haolam. Anoten la Yahev Kohach. Amen. Baruch Atah Adonai Eloheinu Melech Haolam. Hamavir Sheina Menai Utnu Mame Afapai. Amen. Baruch Atah Adonai Eloheinu Melech Haolam. Shel Sani Betzelem Elohim. Amen. Baruch Atah Adonai Eloheinu Melech Haolam. Sani bat chori. Amen. Baruch ata Adonai Eloheinu melech haolam. Sheasani Yisrael. Baruch ata Adonai Eloheinu melech haolam. Moze Yisrael b'gevura. Amen. Baruch ata Adonai Eloheinu melech haolam. Oter Yisrael betifara. Amen. Page 430, we... Recite together the blessing before studying Torah, and our Torah text is from the Mishnah, and it will be on page 432. Baruch ata Adonai, Eloheinu melech haolam, asher kitshanu bemitzvotav vetzivanu laasok bedivrei Torah. Blessed are you, Adonai, our God, sovereign of the universe, who hallows us with mitzvot, commanding us to engage with words of Torah. Page 445, we join together in words of Psalm 150, Hallelujah.
continue on page 447. Even if our mouth were full of song as the sea, and our tongues full of joy in countless waves, and our lips full of praise as wide as the skies expands, and were our eyes to shine like sun and moon, if our hands were spread out like heaven's eagles, and our feet swift like young deer, we could never thank you adequately, Adonai, our God and God of our ancestors, to bless your name for a ten thousands of the many myriads of times you granted favors to our ancestors and to us. Page 450. <laughs> You shall always be praised, great and holy God, our sovereign in heaven and on earth. Song of praise and psalms of adoration become you, acknowledging your might and your dominion. Yours are strength and sovereignty, sanctity, grandeur, and glory always. We offer our devotion, open our hearts in acclamation. Baruch Ata Adonai, El Melech Gadol Batishbachot, El Odaot. Adon Haniflaot, a Bocher Beshirei Zimbra, Melech Elchei Haolamin. Ben Necha, 
66 we join together in Mi Chamocha. Mi Chamocha Ba'elim Adonai Mi Chamocha Ketar Ba'kodesh Norad Ze'ilot Oseh Elet Oseh we prepare for our Amida, our silent prayer, we invite you to use the words in our Sidur through page 492. And again, this Amida is slightly different than what we're used to because it's the festival Amida with the Shabbat insertions. We also invite you to take this moment wherever you are joining us from to offer a private meditation, a private prayer, a time with your loved ones. We begin together with Sur Israel on page 466. Sur Israel, Kuma Bezrat Israel, Ufde Chinumecha, Yehuda Ve Israel, Gohaleinu Adonai Tzvahot Shema. Kedosh Yisrael, Baruch Atadonai, Gaha Yisrael. Adonai, Sifatai Tiftachu Fi, Yagi Tehilatecha. Adonai, open up my lips that my mouth may declare your praise. Thank you. 
continue together on page 478. You have chosen us in love and favor by making us holy through your mitzvot and drawing us close to your service. And through us, your great and holy name may become known to all the earth. In your love, Adonai, our God, you have given us Shabbatot of rest, feast of gladness and seasons of joy, this Shabbat day and this festival of Pesach, season of our freedom to unite in worship and recall the exodus from Egypt. One more time. One more time, a Seder song. You know, the, I know, another year we have to wait. Service continues with Hallel on page 558. It is a Yom Tov, so we get to recite psalms, psalms of praise. Baruch Ata Adonai Eloheinu Melech Haolam Asher Kitshanu Bemitzvotav Vetzivanu Likro Eta Hallel Blessed are you, Adonai our God, sovereign of all, who hallows us with mitzvot, commanding us to recite hymns of praise. Hallelujah et Adonai kol goim, shabbachu hu kol haumim, ki gavar aleinu chasdo, ve'emet Adonai le'olam. Hallelujah. Praise Adonai all you nations, exalt God all you peoples, for great is God's steadfast love towards us, the faithfulness of Adonai endures forever.
Our service continues with the survey for the reading of the Torah, beginning on page 497 with Romamu. The traditional reading is Shirat Hayam, is the seventh day of Pesach. It's based on our tradition, and we did that last night, so um, we are going to do something different this morning. Uh, this uh, Shirat Hayam is based on the tradition that the miracle of the parting of the sea happened uh, on this day. In other words, on the morning between uh, the night and the morning. It's very yeah, exciting. Just, just about this time, about a little earlier than now. The traditional Haftarah reading for the last day of Pesach parallels the Torah reading. It is David's song of thanksgiving found in Second Samuel 2, uh, chapter 22, verses 1 through 51. Mind you, that's a long chapter. That's, that's a Anything lot. Anything above 20 in chapter-wise is long. 51, it's almost a record. And the whole thing is a poem. Who... I mean, that's a long poem. We're not doing it. We're not doing that. <laughs> this, that's the song of Moses and David represents two classic moments in the sacred history of our people. And they serve as sort of models for the future. The Etzchaim commentary teaches, quote, this layering of memory is an essential feature of Jewish cultural consciousness. I love that phrase That's again. Nice. Uh, let me see if I can find it. Jewish cultural consciousness and of its ongoing self identity. Recitation of these events in the synagogue transfers them to new generations, deepening the shared past and its central images. End quote. With our alternative after our readings today, we want to add Miriam to our sacred past. We will read uh, a shira, a new song poem by Rabbi Ruth Son, titled, I Shall Sing to the Lord a New Song. Shigul Adonai Shir Chadas, which is a quotation from Psalm 96.1. Son's poem is inspired by the closing verses of Exodus chapter 15, where we read, Vatan lahem Miriam, then Miriam the prophetess, Aaron's sister, took a timbrel in her hand, and all the women went out with her in dance with trembles, and Miriam chanted to them, Shigu ladonai giga oga'a. Just a little distinction, right? And Moses' version says, Ashir Adonai, I will sing. Miriam says, Shiru, let us sing to God. Much more inclusive, if I may mm, say. Indeed. Sing to Adonai. And Shiru is plural, so it's all of you. For God has triumphed gloriously. Horse and driver God has hurled into the sea. Rabbi Song imagines that what must have felt for Miriam, the prophet and poet, as she stood between the desert behind her and the Sea of Reeds right in front of her, and then slowly walked into the waters that turned into dry land 
under her very own feet. The poem expresses another dimension of the Exodus, how difficult it is to be in the middle of something really good, liberating and redeeming. I know we think it sounds great, but uh, yeah. it might be a little more complicated. We know what we want and that we want it and it will be good for us, mm. but it makes us anxious and sometimes even paralyzes us. During this time of pandemic, as we near the end, Miriam comes to teach us to work through our fears and take the first step into the unknown, because that's where we will find the only way to go, that is forward and together. When we start investigating and looking for our pieces, we try not to talk to each other too much so that we don't sway each other. So I did not know about the Miriam piece until closer to the end. And I have to tell you, I actually tried really hard to not choose a reading about Miriam today. It just felt too on the nose. We're both women, we're both musicians, we both care very, very deeply about the care and nourishment and healing of our people. But I failed. And trust me, I tried. You can ask the rabbi, and he probably found it incredibly trying how I kept trying. <laughs> Some of you may know this, but I did not. Many scholars believe that among Miriam's many aspects, musician, prophet, water finder, she was also a midwife. Of course she was. <laughs> She was there for the transition of Moses from doomed infant to child of a princess. She was there for the transition of the Israelites from a collection of slaves to a nation of priests, from a bunch of people to a people. Now, I, I can't stop thinking about this connection between Pesach and the High Holy Days, the deliberate reflection the self-imposed suffering and rebirth. The moving from a place of dark, comfortable restriction, be it our own disappointing choices or any number of mitzrayim, to a place of liberation, of fresh starts and new songs. It's spring. Nature is rebirthing itself. My Hebrew name means do, something that I remembered only recently, and Miriam is the giver of water. I can hear her laughing. I can hear Miriam laughing. The signs are everywhere. If only I will listen. A midwife doesn't tell you who you will be. She only points the way to the best of her ability, eases the transition from there to here, from here to there, and celebrates with you at each arrival. So I give up. I give up on this pointless fight to stay tangled in my own self-made mitzrayim. <laughs> yeah, I can hear my husband laughing at that. And I choose Miriam. And may we all choose when the opportunity arises, whether we are ready or not, to cross the waters from what we have been to what we could be. Before we share with you our alternative Haftarah reading, we will join together on page four, I'm sorry, 512, for the blessings before the Haftarah. Baruch atah Adonai Eloheinu melech haolam Asher bachar Binviim tovim Beratza vedivrehem Anemarim beemet Baruch atah Adonai Habocher batorah Uvemoshe avedoh Uv Israel Hamo, Uv Nevie Hahemet, Bat Sehed. I shall sing to the Lord a new song, 
by Ruth Son. I, Miriam, stand at the sea and turn to face the desert, stretching endless and still. My eyes are dazzled, the sky brilliant blue, sunburned sands and yielding white. My hand turned to dove wings, my arms reach for the sky, and I want to sing the song rising inside me. My mouth open, I stop. Where are the words? Where the melody? In a moment of panic, my eyes go blind. Can I take a step without knowing a destination? Will I falter? Will I fall? Will the ground sink away from under me? The song still and form, how can I sing? To take the first step, to sing a new song, is to close one's eyes and dive into unknown waters. For a moment, knowing nothing, risking all, but then to discover. The waters are friendly, the ground is firm, and the song, the song rises again. Out of my mouth come words lifting the wind, and I hear for the first the song that has been in my heart, silent, unknown, even to me. This is an excerpt from Seven Miriam Stories by Rabbi Rachel Berenblatt. Six. Here in the desert, I take each woman's hand and lead her through the narrow straits. I sing protection until her baby comes safely through. I have no daughters to teach what I know, and the girls are afraid of me. The Egyptian ways I learned from Shifra and Pua will die with me. One of the girls I delivered will inherit my carved birthing stool, my stalk of hyssop, my wool and sea sponges, but only I know the names of God I call upon in the night. And when I die, there will be no water. And when I am gone, the well will disappear. Without me, the people will be restless. But brother, my brother, do not weep. Bury me here on the flats of Zin. The women will sing my songs at sundown, and I will hear their voices on the wind. Every woman of Israel who seeks to draw these waters forth will be my hands. Thus has God spoken. Amen. Amen. Salah. Page 513. Baruch Adonai Elohim Tzadik Bechol Adorod. Aila Neman Aomer Veose, Avda Berumekayem, Shekol de Varav, Emet Vatsedek, Ala Torah, Veala Voda, Veala Nevihim, Melyom Ashabat Haze, Veal Yom Chakamatsot Haze, Shenatata Lahanu Adonai Eloenu. Ligdusha veli menucha, le sason u le simcha, le chavot u le tif aret, ala kol, Adonai Eloeinu anachnu modim melach, u mevarechim otach, it barach shimecha, befi chol chaitamid le olaham vahed, baruch ata Adonai, Mekadesh HaShabbat V'Yisrael V'Hazemani so We gather on this Shabbat and Yom Tov. We think of those in need of healing. You may have access to the Mishaberach list through the e-news that you received yesterday. You can also follow the links in the comments. 
you like to offer names, please type them in the comments so we can all see them. And as we think of those in need of healing, on page 511, we join our voices in the Mi Sheberach prayer. As we think of those in need of healing, we turn our thoughts and prayers to those who help in healing first responders and health workers all over our country and the world during this pandemic. May those who care for the sick with their hands, their voices, and their hearts be blessed with courage and stamina. May those who pursue healing through medical skills and knowledge be blessed with insight, patience, and compassion. May all of us, the sick and the well together, find courage and hope. Service for the reading of the Torah concludes on page 514 with Etz Chaim. As it is our tradition on the last day of Pesach, we take a moment for Yiskor, a moment of remembrance. And for that, I invite everybody to join us on page 576. D, please. Adonai Roi. Sure. 
Page 575. Birth is a beginning, and death a destination, and life is a journey, from childhood to maturity, in youth to age, from innocence to awareness, in ignorance to knowing, from foolishness to discretion, and then perhaps to wisdom, from weakness to strength, and strength to weakness, and often back again. From health to sickness and back we pray to health again. From offense to forgiveness, from loneliness to love, from joy to gratitude, from pain to compassion and grief to understanding, from fear to faith, from defeat to defeat to defeat, until looking backward or ahead we see that victory lies not at some high place along the way, but in having made the journey stage by stage a sacred pilgrimage. Birth is a beginning and death a destination, but life is a journey from birth to death to life everlasting. Continue on page 578 with Psalm 16, Shiviti Adonai. Ti Adonai Thank you. 
Pages 580 and 581, we invite you to offer the prayers for remembrance silently. You can personalize each one of them, again, beginning on page 580. loved ones live in our broken hearts and at times that brings some measure of healing their acts of kindness and generosity are the inheritance they have leave left behind we feel their absence but the beauty of their lives abides among us as it is said the name of one who has died shall not disappear our loved ones' names and their memories will endure among us. And these are the names on our lips and in our hearts. Since last Pesach, we remember the following loved ones and members of our congregation. Cherry Abramowitz, Bernard Barney Barash, Cheryl Bayer, Gary Dumbler, Joyce Fox, Bernard Frimmerman, Judith Phyllis Frimmerman, Paula Greenwald, Eugene Horwitz, Nancy Broughton Johnson, Amy Kirstein, William Kessler, Monica Kitt, Kim Gray Moss, Leon Mendelssohn, Jack Miller, Arlene Moido, Harold Olson, Izzy Ozer, 
Marilyn Pittler, Ray Dean Shaw, Daniel Ratman, Brenda Safer, Ruth Sainz, David A. Savner, Dorothy Schull, Stephen James, Irma Schneiderson, Pam Smith, Mel Solomon, Robert Saltz, Sherman Steinzig, Rosalie Sternick, Marilyn Stowe, Larry Weiner, Marshall Weingarten, Sue grebner Wary, R. Michael Wren, Mark Weiland, Martin Yegan, Nancy Jonas Wilson. On page 582, we continue with El Male Rahamim, the memorial prayer. Shochim <laughs> Shalom al mishkavam ben Omar Amen. Fully compassionate God on high to our loved ones who have entered eternity grand clear and certain rest with you in the lofty heights of the sacred and pure whose brightness shines like the very glow of heaven. Source of mercy forever enfold them in the embrace of your wings, secure their souls in eternity. Adonai, they are yours. They will rest in peace. Together we say, Amen. If you're joining us this morning, we would like to share a name of someone you are remembering. We invite you to type their names in the comments and click enter. We have heard of the passing of Bill Zartman, uncle of Gloria and Howard Pittler, and Jerome Jerry Inger, father and father-in-law Sharon Milton Katz, grandfather of Stephanie Kolb, great-grandfather of Asa and Eli Maker, and of Shia Kolb. We are observing the Shloshim period for Gerald Bayer, father and father-in-law of David and Barbara Bayer, Sherry Abramowitz, member of our congregation, Gary Dumbler, uncle of Carrie and Kevin Romano, and Mark Weiland, brother and brother-in-law of Bob and Kathy Weiland. And on this Shabbat and Yom Tov, we remember the following yort sites of members of our congregation. Harry Belmont, Mary Belmont, Saul Brontman, Gertrude Didi Dale, Virginia Esser, Rose Fishman, Elizabeth Glass, Peter Goldberg, Blanche Goldstein, Harry Gorski, Yetta Kaplan, Eddie Kirschenbaum, Mason Kessler, Sophie Lowenstein, Ilse Meyer, Rose Skigny, Fred Smith, Meryl Sukher. Zichronam Livracha, may the memories be for a blessing 
On page 598, we together join in Kaddish Yatom, the mourner's Kaddish. It gadal vid kadash shemei rabba, ve alma divra chirute ve amlich malchute, be chay chon uve mechon uve chayei dechol beit Israel, ba agala uvizman kari vimbu amen. Yehei shemei rabba mevarach lialam ule almei alemaya, it barach vish tabach vid paar vid romam vid nase, vid adar vid ale vid halal, shmei de kud de sha brichu. לאלה מן כל ברכתה ושירתה, תוש בחטא ונחמתה, דע אמירם בעלמה ואמרו אמן. יהי שלמה רבה מן שמיה, וחיים עלינו ועל כל ישראל ואמרו אמן. עושה שלום במרומיו, הוא יעשה שלום עלינו ועל כל ישראל ואמרו אמן. Shalom Before we part, it's time for some announcements. We'd like to thank everyone who's joined us from our area and from around the country, and everybody who's joined us in person here in our okay. sanctuary. It's great to see the pews with some living things yes. on it, some breathing, <laughs> living organisms. It's a, You're it's not all just so figments long, of my yeah. imagination, right? <laughs> <laughs> Special thanks to Leslie Zucker and Michael O'Shiver for the beautiful music and to our digital docents for their work and dedication. Yes, you can say thank you to them on the comments as well if you would like to. You know who they are. You've been interacting with them for an hour and a half now. <laughs> our next Shabbat uh, service is Friday, April 9th at 6.30 p.m., Please join us on Facebook Live and on our virtual sanctuary. And this Thursday, if uh, you have nothing else to do for lunch, come have lunch with us together on Zoom. It's Lunch and Learn. And please call the office if you need the Zoom link for that. Leslie? And so excited for tonight, the Chametz Havdalah. This is, so you keep talking about how unique today is. Mm -hmm. Not only is it, the, you know, it only happens every 19 years, mm -hmm. but we are counting down to eating Chametz, and it is 4, 3, 2, 1 today. Oh, four, it is three, the final two, countdown oh. to Hamed. Literally, like, oh. how, I want to see the map on how many times that actually happens. Oh, okay, fine. I will move along. I can see people in the back looking at me. 6.30 tonight in the parking lot. If you have ordered a pizza, we'll have your pizza ready to go. If you've not ordered your pizza, Come anyway, bring your own chametz. We still want to see your lovely faces. There will be games with Zach. There will be a little song session and then Havdalah all together as a community. Also, please remember to bring your chairs and your masks. Song session will be back on April 7th and our next in-person opportunity will be Friday, April 16th. Watch your e-news for details. If you're not getting your e-news, let us know. We'll get you on the list. And please remember to help us keep up Kisharim connections up with each other by reaching out to all of us here at Beth Torah, your rabbis and staff, and as well with, uh, make sure you check with your friends from Beth Torah from time to time. We're all here for each other. And with that, we invite you to join us in the closing lines of Adon Olam on page 625. <laughs>
Shabbat Shalom and Chag Sameach. Take care of everybody out there.